it's Nana Diana with the 12 Days of Christmas Special Reading Edition again. And I'm not sure, but I think there's five more days to Christmas. So today I have a special book called A Small Miracle. And a miracle is something that kind of happens by magic. So, or maybe God has something to do with it. I'm not sure. But I think you're going to like this book. This is Auntie Emily's favorite Christmas storybook. So let's get started. This book has no words, so you're going to get to listen to me a lot. Kind of like the one from yesterday. The book starts out and there is a little old lady and she is asleep in her trailer wagon that's made of wood. Looks like it might be in a different country, I'm not sure, but she's sound asleep and she wakes up and gets out of bed on a cold winter day. And it looks like she has a little music machine there, maybe an accordion. She's getting out of bed. And the first thing that she does is she looks to see if there's any food. No food there. And she looks in the bread box. No food there. She looks in the other place she keeps food and there's nothing. The cupboard, nothing. She takes out her special wooden box that she keeps her money in. But oh no. The box is empty and she is out of money and out of food. So she gets dressed in her special dress. It looks like she's kind of a gypsy lady. She puts on her shoes and she is taking that accordion with her. She's going somewhere because she needs some money and she needs some food. Oh, it's so cold out. Must be close to Christmas. So she goes down the stairs of her trailer, closes the door tight, and now she is walking across the snow. And you can see that's her, that's where she lives. It's just a tiny little box, kind of like a train box almost. And she's walking and walking. And here you can see a little town in the distance. That's where she's going with her music accordion. I wonder what she's going to do. The first place she comes to is the church. So here she is walking up and here's the church and now we can see a car is parked in the front of the church and somebody is setting up the Christmas nativity scene inside the church. And they still have to unload Mother Mary here. She's still in the back of the station wagon. And he is setting up everything. So she looks at that and she leaves the church. She's still got a long ways to walk. And now she has come to town and it definitely is Christmas time. There's people with Christmas trees and people shopping. And she is still walking. She has decided to make some money. She will play her accordion. All the people are going back and forth on the street. She starts off standing up and she's got her little box right here that has no money in it. And she's hoping that people will stop and put money in there so she can buy food. But they're so busy because they have to get all their presents for Christmas. She's been out there a long time. Now she's sitting down. And now she's sitting down and she has her hand on her head. Because she doesn't know what to do. Nobody is stopping to help her. They're all just so busy. And she looks up and she sees a sign in the window that says antique store. 
wanted for cash, which means if you have something very old and valuable, maybe they will buy it from you. So maybe she's gonna go in there and see if she can get some money. But she'll have to sell something, won't she? So she goes into the store, here she is with her accordion. She's going in the antique store and she goes to the man at the counter and he looks at her nice old accordion and he says, I can give you some money for that. And he gives her the money. She puts it in her special box and the man takes the accordion and she kisses it goodbye because she's had it for a long time and she really loves it. And so she is walking down the street now with her money. And here comes somebody on a motorcycle. Oh no, the guy on the motorcycle is not a good person. He reaches out and grabs that money box from her. And he takes it with him and rides off. And she's all by herself now with no money and nothing to sell. How could anybody be that mean on Christmas? Oh my goodness, what is she gonna do now? I'm so mad at him. Well, she sees his motorcycle bike trail where the wheel was and she sees that he has gone to the church. So she follows the trail to the church, but just as she gets there, he is coming out of the front door of the church, and in his hand here, he has a bucket that says, help the needy, and that is what the man had put down by the nativity scene, and they were raising money for poor people, and he takes, she takes that bucket from him, and look, if you look close in his pocket, he still has her box with her money in it. But she's not concerned about getting her own money back. She just wants to help the poor people get their money back. So she grabs it from him. He falls down. We don't care. Ha, ha, ha. Let him fall. And she takes that money for the poor people. And she goes back inside the church and she takes it with her and shuts the door behind her because she doesn't want him coming back in. She locks the door and now she's in the church with that bucket of money for poor people. And she's a poor person herself, but she's not going to take that money. Now she's inside the church by herself. She looks around and that man, he damaged that whole nativity scene. And look, all the pieces are down on the ground. So she says, we can't have that. So she starts to pick up the crutch. She picks up the Virgin Mary. She picks up Joseph, and the three wise men. She puts everybody back in their place, even the baby Jesus. And then she puts that bucket back down. She doesn't take the money. And then she Put, she, she leaves the church and closes the door. That was very nice of her to do that. Even though she doesn't have any money or any food. And now it's still snowing. And she has left the church. And she's walking and walking. Oh no, she's getting tired. She can't go on. Oh. Poor lady, she's gonna freeze to death. She falls down, boom, there she is in the snow. And she is pretty much passed out in the snow on Christmas Eve. I don't know what's gonna happen to her. There's nobody around. Oh, she's still there. But look, somebody is coming. Who's that? Looks like a group of people. Now as they get closer, we can see that the nativity scene has come to life and they have come to help her. 
There's Mary and Joseph, the three wise men. And if you look real close down here, the shepherd boy. And they are trying to help her. And they all work together to pick that poor old lady up. And it looks like they are going to carry her back. Probably to her house. How did that happen? That's kind of a miracle, isn't it? And I was right. Here they are, back at her trailer. They open the door and they push her up inside. Isn't that amazing? And they put her back in her bed. Everybody is helping. And look at Mother Mary is holding her hand and hoping that she will get better and wake up. And the other nativity members are leaving now. Here's the shepherd boy. He's going off in his own direction. The three wise men are together. And here he is going to go and chop some wood. Joseph is. Huh. Good at working together, aren't they? And this is a great story. The three wise men are headed toward the village. The first place they walk by is the church. We know that's on the way, don't we? And they go into that store where that little old lady sold her accordion. And they're talking to that man. And he's very surprised because they're so tiny. But yet they're talking to him. And he says, hmm, what do you have? And they have gold, incense, and myrrh. And he says, I think I can give you some money for these things. So he gets money out of his cash register. And he gives it to those three wise men. And they say, hey, do we have enough money to get that lady's accordion back? And the man says, you sure do. And he gives them back. Her accordion. Hmm. And they go to the supermarket. And that must have been surprising to see. And they are shopping for that little old lady. And they are buying vegetables and fruit and a turkey. And they come to the counter and they give the person the money. And they pack it all up. And they walk back by the church in the snow all the way to that little old lady's house. And it looks like the woodcutter has cut down a Christmas tree. And look, a shepherd boy has somehow found that box of money. And he is bringing it back. That's a miracle. And they set right to work. Mary's still holding her hand. They decorate the tree. He's putting wood down. They make a big Christmas dinner for her. <gasps> Everything looks fantastic, doesn't it? And Joseph says something. He's getting the baby Jesus from her. And Mary is still hoping that old lady will wake up. And here she is on Christmas morning, and she does wake up, and she is so surprised to see everything that they have left behind for her. She has a wonderful Christmas dinner. She has a Christmas tree. She looks outside. Who gave me all these wonderful things? But she doesn't know who it was because it was a Christmas miracle. And she eats her supper, plays herself a song, and has a wonderful, wonderful, warm and cozy Christmas. And I hope you have a wonderful, warm and cozy Christmas too. And that is a small miracle. Hope you liked it. Love you.